What nonsense. Hey, mind if I join you? Suit yourself. I don't care. I can sense the anger in your voice. What's bothering you? What's bothering me? You wouldn't understand. My life has been nothing but a series of disappointments and betrayals. I may not know your exact experiences, but I'm here to listen if you want to share. Oh, sure, like that would help. Nobody ever cares about my problems. They just pretend to be concerned. And then leave me all alone. I'm genuinely concerned. I believe that everyone deserves to be heard. No matter what they are going through. You know, it's easy for you to say that. You probably live in a perfect little bubble, surrounded by loving friends and family. I do have people who care about me, but it doesn't mean I haven't faced struggles or pain. Hatred is a powerful emotion, and it can consume us if we let it. You don't know the things I've been through. People have hurt me, betrayed me, and left me to pick up the pieces alone. I understand that you have experienced difficult times, and I can't pretend to comprehend the depth of your pain. But holding on to hatred won't bring you peace or closure. Why should I let go? Hatred is all I have left. It gives me strength, so that I won't be vulnerable again. I can see that you believe that. But it is false sense of strength. Hatred only keeps us shackled to the past, preventing us from moving forward and finding true happiness. That ship has sailed for me. I don't deserve happiness after everything I've been through. Deserving happiness is not determined by past experiences. Everyone has the capacity to heal and find happiness, but it starts with letting go of hatred and embracing forgiveness. I don't know if I can do that. It's okay if it takes time. Just consider the possibility of letting go of the hatred, and finding a path towards healing. You deserve peace, Oliver. I don't know where to start. The first step is acknowledging that you want things to change. You can reach out to others. Seek professional help, or explore mindfulness practices. It's a journey, but you don't have to go through it alone. Thank you, Emily. I don't know why you are being so kind to me, but it means a lot. Kindness and empathy can go a long way in understanding one another. We all carry our burdens, and sometimes, sharing the load with someone can lighten the burden. Maybe. Just maybe, I'll give it a try. That's all I can ask for. I'm here whenever you need someone to talk to, without judgment. Hi, my name is Melissa. Remember to like, share with a friend, and subscribe. Thank you.